So I'm creating this video for anybody that's new to Cubase or maybe has just got uh, Cubase LE or Cubase AI or has even just bought the full version of Cubase um, but maybe is not familiar with it and they are not sure how to uh, set it up for recording. So basically this video is just going to go through the, the, the basics of how to set it up. First thing you want to do is go to your studio menu, go to studio setup, and select your ASIO driver. Now in this case I'm using ASIO Link Pro because I'm recording the, I'm, I'm doing a screen capture, so I need a way to route the ASIO audio to Windows audio so that I can capture it. It's apparently more straightforward on a Mac, but I'm not a Mac user, so... I have to use this, um, but in your case, it'll be more than likely whatever your interface is, and then a SIO driver, or if you're using Thunderbolt, it'll be either Thunderbolt or USB, but you want to be using one of those drivers to get the best performance and highest quality. Um, so that's the first thing you want to do. Second thing you want to do is open CM menu, studio menu audio connections and then you want to go to your inputs and then you want to right click and add bus and then add as many mono or stereo like basically how, how many inputs you have on your audio interface you want to add those that number of inputs here and then select them here as well I have 16 inputs on the center, so I'm using 16. You might have two, you might have four, you might have eight. Um, but basically create as many. Generally it's mono, but mono or stereo, whatever you want. And then for outputs, if you're not getting any sound, you want to go in here and select your left and right output. Or if you're not using the outputs and you're using the control room, and then you want to go through and select your left and right outputs in the control room. You can't use both the control room and the outputs at the same time, so one or the other. But the control room has some very handy features that uh, I use all the time, so I use the control room. And then once you've created your inputs, what you, what you do is on this left panel, add audio track, right click on it, add audio track, and then say you want to add four audio tracks, mono, stereo, usually mono, but say, right, I'm going to create four mono tracks here. Then you click on the mono track that you want to record, enable. And then on this left panel here, it says mono in. Now in this case, my microphone is plugged into mono in 8, so I want to enable mono in 8 for this channel and then if, if I wanted to monitor through it I would click here um, it's not going to come through at the minute because of a Silent Pro uh, but normally with the regular driver when you uh, hit monitor you'll start seeing a signal coming through here and yep pretty much that's it once you've got that set up uh, you're good to go you can set your metronome, time, record enable, hit record, and you'll start getting your audio waveform coming across. You can do multiple tracks at a time. So say you you know you want you had a guitar coming in on mono in and then something else, a different microphone coming in on mono two and mono three, etc. You can create as many tracks as you want and track as many simultaneously as you want. As you want. Um, but that's the basics of how to set up the audio inputs and select your driver. Cheers.